I'm putting the apron on. You know what this means. Got something new. Something exciting. And it's something that I think has been missing for a while. Let's get back to combat. I give you Angel Wing Designs Smash. Right, let me show you. 3D printed fins, 3D printed tips with magnets for combat. Ooh, horns, magnets, beautifully made. Um, stickers, and who doesn't like a sticker? Look at these. EPP is back. Control push rods, some beautiful um, elevons. Instructions you can download off the internet. Let's get going. Let's get smashing. Look at these beautiful EPP wings. Pre-cut servo, pre-cut battery, hole for the receiver. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna join them together with a bit of hot glue. Smash. <laughs> right, first thing we're gonna do is just make sure that these join together perfectly, which they do. I'm gonna get my glue gun and let's join them. So remember, I can thoroughly recommend this Ryobi cordless glue gun. There you go, glue gun done. Right, first tape, combat tape. You want to run it along the trailing edge, right up to the trailing edge. Do not pull it tight, lay it there gently like so, and then roll the tape on like so. Now just rub that well in, right to the leading edge, do not pull it tight. And I have run mine like so. There you go, and then with a nice new blade, I'm gonna finish mine along the leading edge. So, don't roll. Don't roll that over, because there's a, a wing tip to go on. Oh, I've bollocks this, haven't I? Beautiful. Now, where the tape overhangs the servo tray, servo box, and the battery box, I've just cut those and just folded them in because that gives a little bit of extra strength. Right, you want to cut these out. These are the wing tips, and they're all going to have magnets in them. 
and then we'll talk about what we're going to do with the fin. Right, cut out the tips, cut out the wing tips and the idea is we're going to be popping a magnet in these two. Magnet in these two. Make sure you get the orientations around the right way of the magnets. Right, top tip. I have just covered one of my fins. The magnets stick in really nicely. I've not even bothered gluing mine, but look. If I do that, do that, and then mark that with a marker, I know that is the right orientation for that to go in there like that. Top tip, uh, I just marked mine right because I tell you what, the amount of people that end up making two right hand things, two right hand wings. Don't know how people do that. Okay, there's my fin. I've done both sides. Easy. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it uh, connected to the fin. I'm just going to drop some hot glue on here and then I'm going to fit it in place like so because I think if you've got the fin in place it's going to help you to get it square. That's next. Hot glue. Okay, basic covering done, and the keyed eyed members of the uh, my channel will notice I've added this rear section. Uh, to be honest with you, I made a bit of a mistake, and I was following these, thinking they were tape lines. Um, now, there will be, in the actual kit, because this is a prototype, there will be laser cut lines on here, and also for the elevons, because the elevons are going to be uh, tapered like so now i've just tapered mine up they're going to fit on there like that and they fit on there like that. so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cover these and exactly i'm not going to put um the glass weave tape on i'm just going to use standard tape on mine and then um we'll look at possibly putting the horns and extensions in but um and it's cracking on right one of the cool things about the smash, knock off fins. So they're held on with good magnets. I've got a little bit of, um, I just got a bit of sea fishing line and I tied a couple of knots in it. I whipped a little bit of um, hot glue over the end. And then all I did was I got, because there's the mark and the ply for it already. And I just ran that down the inside and then all I've done is I injected a little bit of hot glue and then pushed this end in and obviously I've got that end the other side. It's going to be a bit of fun for combat, isn't it? Oh, I've just realised I've got a matching shirt. <laughs> I 
I've had to wait a few days for the servos from the component shop. The servos I am using are metal geared. That is what I'm using. They are KM04 MDHVs. There you go. I wanted these because they're metal geared. I, you could possibly use a plastic ones, but anyway, we're here. That, and this is the battery I'm um, using again from the component shop. 4.8 volt. This is a two stroke three AAA nickel metal hydride. That one there. And the uh, hole is cut ready for this battery. So when you get your kit, this hole, the hole in the uh, there, is designed for it to go in. So I'm now just going to crack on with my servos. So the servos sit from underneath, they push through. Uh, I've marked a little hole where they're going to come through. I've put the horns on already. I managed to line up with, the, I've got the slots cut already. I've literally been gnawing my nails waiting for these. So. Um, I am just going to wrap a little bit of combat tape, the glass weave tape around there, just a small bit, and I'm going to hot glue these in place. Remember, get the servo centered before you get them in. Trial fit them first, and make sure that it's the movement you want, and then let's crack on. Because tomorrow, it's westerly, and we will be on the dunes for combat! There you go. One EPP combat smash weighing in at 148 grams. Got to be honest with you, I had to add about 10 grams just to get the C of G forward. So the C of G is 100 mil back from the nose. Um, I've got mine set up exactly as per the instructions. So that's 12 mil up and down. Uh, but I will obviously do a complete uh, test flight and we'll muck around with some settings. <laughs> I've got to be honest, with you, the amount of times I've knocked that on gone and gone, oh Christ. And then I've realised <laughs> it's actually magnetic. These are going to be great fun. Uh, anyway, coming to Sand Dunes in North Devon very shortly. The Angel Wing Designs, smash! <laughs>